Welcome back guys to another video and today I'm going to be talking about SPACs and especially because it's December and the market's been plummeting with growth stocks and especially SPACs. So uh, I want to show you one of my favorite websites today which is called SPACtrack.net and here you basically can uh, track all the SPACs that have been listed in the past two years and sort them out from their lowest to their highest prices. So what do you have to do? You have to go to the, go to this website and then click on um, completed SPACs. And then you have to, let's see, say closed in 2020. And here you can change their order. So you can say current price of the comments. So these are the lowest prices and these are the highest prices. So from the 2020 list, we can see that some of the best performing SPACs are MP Materials, QuantumScape, Porch, but as you can see from the starting value of 10 very few are actually above 10 and there's so many below 10 companies like Hylion which went to $50 companies like desktop metal which went to $30 Velodyne lighter which went to $30 these have all been coming down Exofleet once again went to $30 now it's $4 I'm not recommending Exofleet I do not like this company but once again it's down to four dollars lordstown i was in this company for some time but i realized it was not the best company to invest in and i would not recommend lordstown but it's at four dollars and a shift one i was really surprised with because people are pretty bullish about this one but it once again four dollars romeo power four dollars and this one was also at 30. so these were so far up last year and they're kind of getting their re revenge back let's say and now let's look at 2021 we're gonna sort these out again with their prices. Uh, not market cap, but price. So these are the highest ones. Lucid is a good one. It came to 15 two months ago. Uh, I missed it out. But Matterport, 26. These ones are fine. Ion Q, these have been getting the hype. But let me just go to the bottom because I can tell you the bottom is not looking good. So here are the ones under 10. Um, there are a lot more that were listed this year. I know Volta is good at 9.14. It is an electric charging spec, but of course with specs you never know they can keep coming down. Um, I'm going to be going more down. So even a big company like Grab with a market cap of 34 billion has fallen. So that's nothing's really working. Look, look at WeWork. It's at 8.53. Black Sky Renew Energy. This was one of the pipes from Chamath. Um, so you can see a lot of these aren't working. So there's so many. I'm just going to be scrolling down. You can see Berkshire Gray went up 9.4% today, but once again, it's down a lot. And these are really good companies for the future, but the problem with them in the short term is their revenue and their profitability. And the market does not like that right now, especially with the interest rates rising. Uh, that's one concern that the market has re-automotive. All these electric related stocks have been plummeting so much because last year they had gone up so much. Uh, Hippo is an insurance play by uh, Reed Hoffman. This one's not going great as well. It's a bit like Lemonade, following Lemonade, but you get the point. So which packs do I really like at this price? Well, I really like Hyzon. It's a hydrogen truck company based uh, from the Netherlands and like gl global as well, I would say. Actually, its parent organization was from Singapore. This one is at 6.89. I've been making some videos before. But it's again really volatile and it could really fall once a SPAC crash again happens. Uh, like it fell 25% uh, just within one week with no related news, just a SPAC sell off. Uh, here there was a short seller report, but nothing too serious in my opinion. But this is one I would keep an eye on. I'm, I'm, I'm also keeping an eye on skills, and this one's at 9.55. Uh, it had a great day today, obviously. And the last one is DraftKings, which acquired Golden Nugget, which is another SPAC uh, for $12, uh, which is, uh, no, for $18, but it's trading at $12 now because DraftKings stock has come down. So for $31, DraftKings seems fine to me. Gems Chain also is shorting it. Uh, there could be downside, but this is one I'm looking at and buying as well. So these are some of the SPACs I have been keeping my eye on. Um, I would be pretty interested in the SPAC market, but I'm going to be waiting for the Fed to get some news on the 14th of December over the interest rates. 
And one last company I wanted to talk about was App Harvest and SoFi. So a App Harvest was um, a company that went to let, let's say 40 bucks and it came to let's say five days, a low of, oh my God, 4.68. Um, this is a sustainable agriculture company. I'm interested in it, but its revenue is really low. Its market cap is coming down. Uh, let's look at SoFi, which is one I've been uh, adding heavily to. It's at 16.62. This one is pretty much fine. I really liked its earnings. It was a beat on all metrics. And the last one I like is Catapult, which is a buy now, pay later service. I got this at even $2 a share. Let's see, five days. I picked it up in two in the $2 range, guys. And this one has a market cap of $318 million, And I believe is making $70 million in revenue per quarter and is profitable. So this one has uh, one with a huge potential, I see. I will be seeing the analyst targets and showing them next time. And probably making a video for Catapult. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys next time.